Hello everybody, Brian from quantlabs.net here from quantlabs.net from quantlabs.net. Anyways, enough of the bad humor. Um, just wanted to let you know I am testing out, again, Shard Director, but now I have the web-enabled version running with Python using Django right here. Uh, and I've got it working. So... I'll provide the link. Just go to this link here uh, on the forum at Chart Director Support called, I guess, the Django Integration. So in here, if you download a file from the, uh, the, the author right here, the Django View Port Control uh, on this date here, January 24th, 2017 at 01 a.m. You can download that. You also need to install Python into your, or sorry, Django into your Python. Now, I don't have a virtual environment, but what I do have is I just installed it using the standard pip install, like, uh, where is it? Like so here. Is so it pip3? install the Django and that was it basically pip 3 install the Django and uh, that's it okay that's all you really need to do it's fairly easy now the structure of setting it up to run is fairly easy as well now here, if I'm going to run Python 3, let me just uh, show you this line here. But we are not using Python, we're using Python 3. So you can see it's 2.04. So over here on another directory, we have here um, at the Django my site. So essentially, when you run this on the terminal to Django admin start project called my site, uh, what it will do is it will see if you go into um, I have a started with a directory called my site. So in here it should create a, uh, a Python script called manage and then in there it will default to my site. So if I go into my site, uh, you will get some content or in the uh, director or chart director files to get it running. So they're all set up here. Okay, so it's not that difficult. It may sound like it. So if you step a few, uh, two more uh, uh, posts over here, you run this my, Python manage. Py, uh, py run server. So essentially, in my case, I am got to make sure I'm in the. So here, here's where I'm at right now. My site, my site. You can see here. You have to move up, but then you look for this manage manage Python script. So now you should be able to run. Uh, yeah, here. But again, we're we're running it with Python three. So in my case, we go Python manage three, and now it loads up the server for uh, my my uh, my site, and it seems to work okay. So if I scroll over to localhost eight thousand, as it says here. Uh, this is where we need to go, uh, right here. So now we can inter interact with the data. Okay, so we can zoom out, zoom in. We can use the panel here to scroll or, or pen, uh, drag to scroll. And it has this other little, so we can go to last year, last 90 days, last... 30 days, we can get the exact data um, 
amounts. Okay, then we can also go download, creates a uh, standard download snapshot of where I'm at, wherever I'm at in the chart. So that's pretty good. Um, so I just want to show you how to use it, set it up using Python. Finally, I figured it all out. And uh, hopefully this will somewhat help you out. All right, uh, talk to you later.